Thanks for being here. An extensive investigation is underway at a Cambria County High School tonight after alleged threats created some mass panic and caused many students to be picked up early. Now, those threats were allegedly made on Thursday, but parents weren't notified until this morning. And the superintendent of that district tonight is standing by that decision. And Maria Miller is live outside the school with more. Maria? Marty, back at the newsroom, parents have been calling all day. They've been commenting on our Facebook page, on the school's Facebook page, and that's probably the biggest problem in this entire situation. Was there a threat? Maybe, but the superintendent says they weren't even able to begin an investigation before rumors spread out of control. There's been text messages, and it was, as soon as I got to school, I knew about it, so... It got around pretty quick. Um, That's a Conema Valley High School student talking about alleged threats made by a classmate on Thursday. Threats the district says it was actively looking into. Pops were all aware my principal actually rode the individual's bus this morning to make sure they didn't get on the bus. So we, we were there early to make sure he rode the whole bus run with the, with the students to make sure nothing happened. And that's what we do. Superintendent David Lehman admits the district didn't immediately notify parents, but said that's only because officials hadn't even talked with the student in question. An alleged event that happened with no substantiation. So we waited until we had the facts so we can give a statement to the parents, and that was forthcoming as soon as we had something. It was that decision that created a firestorm among students and parents. I got a call or text message from my kids telling me that they were scared, they wanted to come home from school, that there was a gun threat, and they didn't feel safe in the school district. This parent wasn't the only one to pick up her kids. Our cameras captured dozens of other parents at the school shortly after the school day started. If I would have known about this yesterday, my kids would have not have been at that school today. The people that we thought was involved, we had them. They were not in the building today until we had them come in with the police being there as well. Could we have done things different? I don't know if I would have released a statement until I got the chance to get all my facts before I can do that because it was an alleged incident at that time. Now, by the end of the day here, Lehman says attendance had dropped to 27 percent. It's a trend he says he doesn't like to see, but says the district will never look down on parents for picking up their children if they feel they're unsafe. After school activities and sports were canceled here today, the weekend play will have to be rescheduled. There is an active investigation underway right now and possible charges against the student in question. But Lehman assures parents their children will be safe when they return to school here on Monday. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.